Good morning, children. Saira. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, give you the notes for lesson number three, the Northern Mountains. Okay. So, I hope uh, you all have uh, started preparing for your exams. Uh, just go through the textbook, each and every line of your textbook. Okay. Just uh, go through the lessons. Uh, don't uh, just to read the notes which I'm giving even uh, in from inside the lessons you might get a uh, question so each and every line you go through read your textbooks um, fully okay so that it will be helpful for your uh, exam okay uh, so this uh, is like notes for lesson number three uh, already we have uh, completed the notes for lesson number 17 cultural heritage so with this, uh, we'll be completing the notes of all the lessons, which were, has been taught till now. Okay. So first is uh, fill in the blanks. You can uh, take your notebook, put uh, today's date and then write the heading uh, on top of the margin. Write lesson number three. Then in the first uh, line, you put the heading as uh, the Northern Mountains. First line, the Northern Mountains. And the next line, you put Q1 and write fill in the blanks. Okay. So, on top of the margin, lesson number 3. And in the first line, they write the heading, the northern mountains. And then in the first Roman number, uh, next line, you will write the first Roman number, fill in the blanks. Okay. So, Q1, fill in the blanks. The first one, a long row of mountains is called a mountain range. Okay, a long row of mountains is called a mountain range. First one, a long row of mountains is called a mountain range. The second one, the highest mountain range in the Himalayas is the Dash. Okay, the highest mountain range in the Himalayas is Himadri. Okay. Second one, the highest mountain range in the Himalayas is Himadri. The third one, um, are you all writing? Shall I wait for two minutes so that you can just complete it? Yes. Now, the third one, the area at the foothills of the Himalayas is called Terai region. The area at the foothills of the Himalayas is called Terai region. The area at the foothills of the Himalayas is called Terai region. Okay. Shall we move on to the fourth one? Okay. The river... Um, Sorry, fourth one. Rivers in the northern mountain arise from the moving sheet of ice called glaciers. Rivers in the northern mountains arise from the moving sheet of ice called glaciers. Rivers in the northern mountain arise from the moving sheet of ice called glaciers. Okay. Fifth one, people of Kashmir carry a kangri under the pihiran to keep warm in winter. Okay. Fifth one, people of Kashmir carry a kangri under the pihiran to keep warm in winter. Okay. People of Kashmir carry a kangri under the pihiran to keep warm in winter. Okay. This is the fifth one. So, with that, we have completed the uh, fill in the blanks. Okay. So, the first one, a long row of mountain is called a mountain range. The highest mountain range in the Himalayas is Himadri. Third one, the area at the foothills of the Himalayas is called Terai region. Rivers in northern mountain arise from moving sheet of ice called glaciers. People of Kashmir carry a kangri under their piran to keep warm in winter. Okay.
okay so with that we have uh, completed the fill in the blanks so the next one is uh, multiple choice question that is uh, choose the correct answer okay uh, here uh, I have just uh, you can uh, after writing the fill in the blanks leave a line and put the heading Q, uh, Roman number Q2 and then write uh, so you will just uh, instead of uh, Roman number we are putting Q2 here so this is second uh, heading so multiple choice question then in the next line you write uh, the question of the choose the correct answer and you can uh, the options are given here you can just write it down and the answers are highlighted with pink color okay the highest mountain peak in india is options mount everest annapurna kanchanjunga mount godwin austin okay these are the options given the highest mountain peak in India is Kanchanjunga. The highest mountain peak in India is Kanchanjunga. Okay. The second one, the river Ganga originates from options Gangotri, Himadri, Mount Kailash, Mount Everest. The answer is Gangotri. Right? The river Ganga originates from Gangotri. Okay. So G A N G O T R I Gangotri. Okay, the river Ganga originates from Gangotri. Okay. Third one. Which state gets the heaviest rainfall in the country? Which state gets the heaviest rainfall in the country? Yeah, options are Manipur, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya. So the answer is Meghalaya. Which state gets the heaviest rainfall in the country? The option is Meghalaya. Okay. Fourth one. Missouri is an important hill station in the state of Nash. Options Sikkim, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Assam. Missouri is an important hill station in the state of Uttarakhand. Okay. Answer is Uttarakhand. So, Mudori is an important hill station in the state of Uttarakhand. Okay. The next one. Small boats that are used for boating and as floating shops in Kashmir are called the options Kangri, Kiran, Shikara, Dogri. The answer is Shikara. Small boats that are used for boating and as floating shops in Kashmir are called Shikara. Small boats that are used for boating and as floating shops in Kashmir is, are called Shikara. Okay. So with that we have completed uh, multiple choice question. Uh, one more time I will just read it for you. The highest mountain peak in India is Kanchanjunga. The river Ganga originates from Gangotri. Which state gets the heaviest rainfall in the country? Answer Meghalaya. Fourth, and Missouri is an important hill station in the state of Uttarakhand. And fifth one, small boats that are used for boating and as floating shops in Kashmir are called Shikara. Okay. Now the next is uh, match the columns. Uh, we have uh, match the columns for uh, high questions are here. Uh, so first one, the highest mountain peak in India. The answer is Kanchenjunga. You can see the one is marked there near Kanchenjunga. Option B. Okay. So, after writing, choose the correct answer, leave a line and write Q3, match the columns. And in the next line, the first one, highest peak in India. That is the first question. And your answer will be option B, Kanjan Junga. Okay. The second one, lowest range in Himalayas. Which is the lowest range in Himalayas? The answer is shivalik you can see the option two here the second one um, the lowest range uh, in himalaya 
that is uh, Shivalik. Okay, so the first question highest peak in India, the answer is Kanchanjunga. The second one lowest range in Himalaya, the answer is Shivalik. Origin of river Ganga, answer is Gangotri. And saffron, uh, we are getting uh, it from Kashmir. So saffron, Kashmir. And 8,848 meters, that is Mount Everest. Okay, these are the answers for match the following. You can just, uh, all these questions are there in your book. Just, you can just copy from the book. Then you can note the answers. Like match the following, you can have these answers. Similarly, for choose the correct answer and uh, the other things also, you can uh, just copy the answer from the uh, video here. Okay, children. With that, we have completed. Fill in the blanks. Choose the correct answer or multiple choice question and match the following. So now next we will move on to the question answer. So now uh, this will be uh, your uh, question number 4. The heading will be answer the following questions. After you finish match the following leave a line and do this. Okay. First question here. Where do the Himalayas get its name from? Where do the Himalayas gets, um, sorry, get its name from? The answer, the Himalayas gets its name from the Sanskrit word Himalaya, which means the abode of snow. The Himalayas gets its name from the Sanskrit word Himalaya, which means the abode of snow. Okay, this is the first question and answer. Again, I'll read. Where do the Himalayas gets its name from? Himalayas gets its name from the Sanskrit word Himalaya, which means the abode of snow. Okay, the Himalayas gets its name from the Sanskrit word Himalaya, which means the abode of snow. Okay, the second question. Name the ranges that make up the Himalayas which is the highest and which is the lowest so name the ranges that make up the Himalayas which is the highest and which is the lowest okay. name the ranges that make up the Himalayas which is the highest which is the lowest the answer there are three ranges that make up Himalayas, make up the Himalayas. There are three ranges that make up the Himalayas. They are the Himadri, the highest range. They are the Himadri, the highest range. The Himachal, the middle range. The Himachal, the middle range. And the Shivalik, the lowest range. And the Shivalik, the lowest range. One more time, second question. Name the ranges that make up the Himalayas, which is the highest and which is the lowest. There are three ranges that make up the Himalayas. They are the Himadri, the highest range, the Himachal, the middle range, and the Shivalik, the lowest range. Okay, that is the second question and answer. Now, the third one, how do rivers originate in the Himalayas. How do rivers originate in the Himalayas? The rivers of the Himalayas arise from moving sheets of ice called glaciers. The rivers of the Himalayas arise from moving sheets of ice called glaciers. As glaciers move to warmer region they melt and give rise to rivers the rivers of the himalayas arise from moving sheets of ice called glaciers as glaciers move to warmer regions they melt and give rise to rivers okay how do rivers originate in the himalayas the rivers of the Himalayas arise from moving sheets of ice called glaciers. As glaciers move to warmer regions, they melt and give rise to rivers. 
okay now we'll move on to the fourth question okay. what kind of climate does the northern mountain region have what kind of climate does the northern mountain region have the answer the northern mountain region has a cold climate the northern mountain region has a cold climate some parts of this region are permanently covered with snow some parts of this region are permanently covered with snow some of the most beautiful hill stations of india are located in this region some parts of this region are permanently covered with snow some of the most beautiful hill stations of india are located in this region okay so this is the answer for the fourth question okay now we'll move on to the fifth question how do people of kashmir keep themselves warm during winters how do people of kashmir keep themselves warm during winters that is your first question the answer the people of kashmir keep an earthen pot filled with burning coal beneath their firans to keep themselves warm in winter as i told you they will wear that breast huh? inside that they will keep this to keep themselves warm the people of kashmir keep an earthen pot filled with burning coal beneath their firans to keep themselves warm in winter okay children so have you all completed till fifth question and answer if not just pause and copy the question and answers okay so now we will move on to the sixth question so just go through your lessons video so you will get a clear idea when you read this question answers okay children the sixth one name two states in the northern mountain region where tea is a major crop name two states in the northern mountain region where tea is a major crop the answer west bengal and assam are the two states in the northern mountain region where tea is a major crop west bengal and assam are the two states in the northern mountain region where tea is a major crop okay and the seventh question what are the seven sisters name them what are the seven sisters name them okay the seven sisters are the seven states of north east okay we call the seven states of north east as seven sisters the seven sisters are the seven states of the north east okay they are assam nagaland manipur tripura mizoram meghalaya and arunachal pradesh the seven sisters are the seven states of the north east they are assam nagaland manipur tripura mizoram meghalaya and arunachal pradesh okay so with this uh, we have completed the seventh question till seventh question and answer we have completed now i have two questions for you as assignment okay so you will find out the answer for this two from your textbook pages you can go through the lesson and find out and you will write these two uh, questions answer in your notebook you will find out read the lesson find out and write the answers for these two questions in your notebook okay this will be your assignment for this lesson so the eighth question will be how do the himalayas affect the climate of northern plains of india how do the climb himalayas affect the climate of northern plains of india okay this is the one question the other question what is being done to reduce the damage caused by 
deforestation in the Himalayas. What is being done to reduce the damage caused by deforestation in the Himalayas? So these two questions, you just find out the answer and write in your notebook. So with, that, with this, we are uh, completing the notes for lesson number 3, Northern Mountains. Okay, children, just copy it in your notebook. Okay, find out the answer, finish up the assignment. Keep reading for all the lessons. Okay, for uh, FA2, you have uh, lesson number 2 and 17. Uh, so, you just go through each and every line of your textbook pages of your lesson. Okay. Uh, some, uh, so, the questions from me uh, may be from inside the lessons too. So, read the lessons carefully. Okay, children. So, with that, uh, today's uh, session, I am just completing today's session. Okay, children. We will meet in the next class. Thank you, children. Sairam.